Hello, in this episode we are going to talk about the slot operation. For this I have created a simple body, just a piece of food let's say, and I want to mill a slot in the middle of this piece. So first of all I have to go to the path workbench, I'll select the body, click on the create job button, select one from the template, the one that I need. If you don't know how to create templates you will find in the corner a link to the video about creating templates. I will click OK, click OK again, the job is ready with all the settings as they should be. This is a 200 by 200 millimeters body, 20 millimeters high and I want to make a vertical slot. I can simply select the job, click on the slot button and as you can see here it says no base geometry selected, currently using custom point inputs available in the property view of the data tab. So I will click OK and if I select the operation and go here I can see I have, let me make this bigger, custom point 1 and custom point 2. Of course I can go here, click on this line, it will give me the correct Y, but the X depends on where I hold my mouse. Since I know the body is 200 millimeters wide, I will know that the center is at 100 millimeters. The Y as you can see down here is 200 millimeters and the Z is 20. So I can go here at the custom point 1 and I will just say 100 millimeters X, 200 millimeters Y and 20 Z and for the second point everything stays the same except the Y which will be on the on the bottom axis so Y will be 0, X also 100 and Z 20. Now as you can see there has been created an operation but I will double click the slot and go to the depth tab and I can see the final depth is 20 it's actually the height of the body so I will let's say I want a 3 millimeters deep slot I will just go here and write instead of 20 let's say 17 because I said I wanted a 3 millimeters deep slot the step down is 3 millimeters because that's what the job is set to half of the tool diameter I will click OK and if I hide the body you can see I will have two passes to make this slot Let's open the operation again. Assuming I have a normal woodworking bit, they usually don't have a cutter head on the whole flat bottom, so what I want to do is to lower the cutter head prior to entering the material. So here I have two options, extend path start, let's say 10 millimeters, and when I click apply you can see it will start the cut 10 millimeters away from the body. Of course I have to make sure there are no clamps, the CNC can go to that position and so on, but that's another discussion. And I also can modify the end point, I will extend its path also by 10 millimeters. Now you can see it will start the movement without being engaged in the body, it will start moving downwards, it will cut the body and at the end it will also move slightly more than the length of the body. This will result in a very smooth cut for my slot. Also I can select from here a single pass or a multi pass, I usually leave it with multi pass because if I have a very deep slot a single pass will mill it in just one movement and most probably the cutter head will break or something bad will happen anyway. So this is a basic slot with the points defined manually by entering them in the data tab. I'll delete that operation and now let's say I want to simply draw a line on this face and I want to make a slot along that line. For this I have to select the body, go to the part design workbench and after selecting the face click on create sketch. I will click this button which means create external geometry and select the top line. Then I will simply draw a line that is constrained to touch this line and the bottom axis and a vertical constraint. You can see it's still white, it's not fully constrained because I can still move it from one side to the other. I will just select the ends of this external geometry and then the third point will be this top point of my line and I will press the symmetrical constraint. Now no matter how long this body is, this line will always be in the middle. So now let's go to the initial sketch and instead of 200 millimeters let's write here 400 millimeters and let's make sure the line is still in the middle and if I want to create an engrave along this line you will see that actually it isn't visible. Well the first thing in my mind is to go to the job and add to the base geometry to the model that line but since it resides in this body it's not available as a separate solid. I can convert that sketch to a shape but I don't want to do that. Instead I'm going to the part workbench, select the body, hold the control key and also select the sketch and now I'll go here 
click on this arrow and click on slice apart you can now see my line is actually part of the geometry now i will go to the job go to the general tab and edit the geometry remove the body and add the slice that has been generated so i have this line available and now i'll simply click ok now i can select this line click on the slot operation and as you can see i have this edge in the geometry if i click apply of course there will be a slot along this line i can also give it 10 millimeters at each end select the multi-pass or the single pass i can also change the direction of the cut by simply selecting this checkbox reverse cut direction you will see it starts from the bottom and moves to the upside i will just leave it as it was there is also an option start to end or perpendicular this will result in a perpendicular line with the centers of the two lines one on top of the other and at 90 degrees i don't know really why is it useful but it might be in some cases of course i have the depth tab where i can modify the start the final depth let me make this one 17 millimeters you can see there are two layers now because it starts 23 the height stop which is controlled by the job the base geometry of course where i can select lines let me show you something if i select this line too it actually won't make another slot because these two lines aren't parallel to each other slot operation it's basically just a simple engrave operation with a little bit of extending functionality that is the extension on the start and at the end and the reverse cut direction and the fact that I can actually go to the data tab and modify the start and end point by hand you should know about this slotting operation I will select this face make a new sketch let's make a simple channel I will make a pocket of five millimeters and now if I go to the path workbench again I select the bottom of this channel click on the slotting operation and click apply it will actually create a slot in the middle of this channel it doesn't matter how wide it is of course the z depth will be the bottom of this channel but other than this it simply doesn't take into account the width of the cutter head and the width of the channel this might be useful in some cases but i usually don't like to model things that are different i prefer to use just a simple line in these cases it's much easier to understand that the cutter head will move along a line rather than in the center of a doesn't matter how wide pocket and what you need to know when creating slots in this type of cutouts in this type of pockets you can actually use this reference phase 6 long edge or short edge it will create the slot on this direction or on this direction depending which edge is longer again i'm not sure what this might be useful for but maybe there are some situations when you want to do this so this is the basics of the slotting operation i will show you in a future video about creating patterns that this operation can be very useful at certain times thank you for watching and see you next time